to imagine that there's nobody here to handle you for Tabaure. Udula mzo lawyer, kundwa nindiun. Ndu. Usa lutaga ta yonki ndo laemka kwe ni ba 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 o mudu uliwe. You just shoot down anybody. Everybody is like basically sitting duck where you're concerned. Mafuna zanting from them, you just ba ba ba. Witchcraft. You thoroughly sat around expecting zinja dogs. Oh, zinja. Off, off. Uguti, you're just gonna go into eternity. Kubem nander. Everything is just gonna disappear. Poof. Nothing happens nihilistic. That's you. Mmm. only pizu just had to Sleeping with women. Basa tse be krencha poroba fosti. Hey. Maybe you just die. Poof. Make our kudini and disappear. Hey. Nothing happens. You nihilistic bug. You. Hey. Gone right ahead and just massacre some people. Cause car accidents on the side of the street. <laughs> and then people perish. And then next thing you die. Boo. And it's just empty. Like nothing happens. Like crickets. Kru 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 kru. Yeah. You're suddenly gonna wake up, Steve. <laughs> and realize that as soon as you pass away, you're gonna burn. And that's gonna be the thing that's gonna make you all of a sudden willing to listen to Caravo. <laughs> that's gonna be the thing that's gonna make you cry. Instead of celebrate my death and ja. That's the thing, you see. Like right now, you're like all like jovial. A, you've got all this joy, you're jocose, you're laughing, you're toasting, you're cheersing when I go nowhere and when I cry and I speak about how it is that I'm highly suicidal for the day. You're like, we're five seconds in, we're almost there. Like, we're, we've nearly arrived. Like, we're just a small little sliver and we're right in. Yeah, this time around, you're going to basically groan and mourn and grunt over the fact that you will have spent your measly life dedicating it to ending the life of a person that was trying to make you stop doing what you're doing because, I don't know, you're going to go to hell and stuff. You wouldn't have believed her until she got taken supernaturally and now it's true so oh snap so i guess we don't get to do whatever we want on the planet i guess we don't just get to trash the earth i guess we don't just get to kill and like you know it'd be okay tomorrow i guess we don't just get to like decimate our country's economies and ransack everybody on our periphery and then it'd be like a party later <laughs> i guess there's somebody that can actually burn us for that yeah now all of a sudden you're gonna be all humble steve because you look on looking all pompous today, walking on like a peacock. Ebees why you pick a go that's Steve for you. Out your fluttering his shoes and her feathers like a damn peacock. Mm. Tomorrow you're gonna cry over your peacock disposition. Because who under heaven dabbles with spirits and does not conclude that there must therefore be a god? I don't know, a fool, Steve, and that's you. Hanging out on Soli Pico Priding yourself in the new car that you bought off the backs of some widow and her children because you killed a man to get that promotion that bought you that car. Now, Steve, you are too trembling because your conscience is catching up with you, the conscience of which you seared with your demons, and you are hoping that God is going to have mercy on you, Steve. Because mm. now you have proven he exists. Except, how in the world under heaven did you not know that he existed since you know that Satan exists? I mean, I said that I got to a woman's husband, somebody's dad and stuff. Steve, then I mean, of course, there must be a God. Just the fact that you have confirmed Satan, Steve, you ought to be scared that there must be a God. But that's the thing, Steve, you see, when you like dabble with the occult, oh, but dumb. And so Jaga Khalil Domujana. But Dom Balona Boluki so I get tribulation. So I'm out here about to give advice to Steve that prides himself in not driving a knife inside the heart of a woman because you stand for gender-based violence yeah you stand against it sorry you are you always trending strange stuff on twitter or x or whatever on some hashtag a gbv come on stop hurting our women on zoli's juzana because in your occult organization yeah that's you steve you're just a mess of a man like obari it's a boy but you are thinking you're girthy that's one skin mm, steve now you're thinking about all the nasty nastiness that you did hey stevie mm. and here it is that eve has just told you my whole family's gone Ooh, and i'm left behind and so you believe eve why why would you even believe eve ever so immediately even though your country's telling you it was an alien invasion you believe Eve, Steve, because you will have been persecuting the living daylights out of an actual Christian in the run-up to the rapture. You will have dedicated all of your rams and sins, all of your energy. Just kind of like flattening you on the ground. That's how much you flattened yourself to decimate 
a Christian. Yeah. And this Christian, I could say, but on the whole especially because on Nanta Buaga so. But when we get a little telling story, I have a relative, my sister. Hmm. This relates to language, but let me just stick to the English. Yeah. At the beginning of her stint as an occulty, uh, and I was beginning to become a Christian, yeah, I spoke about the book of Revelation, a, p a passage therein that says that God is going to destroy those who destroy the earth. And because my sister was already dabbling in darkness at that stage, she got so angry. She got so mad. I remember when we were in her car, she was driving, she nearly rode over a, 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 like a, a big fat chunky rock on the floor. The way Nang Ding. And she was like, God doesn't punish anyone. I was like, yes, absolutely, he does. If anything, he throws quite a lot of them in hell too. And she got mad at me and it was all quiet in the car until we got home. Do you know why you get so mad? People who are all practice witchcraft. When people mention God and the fact that he is a punishing God, he will leave no, no one, no, no sin unpunished. Is because you are literally your conscience is beating on you like no man's business about the wickedness of this thing that you're doing and you desperately desire like desperately desire oh randos yeah for there to be no god because if at all you're going to be doing this nasty thing there cannot be a god i can't know i'm sorry i can't take it there cannot be a god because if there is it means i'm in trash it means kimonji and so what you do then is to like you abuse the christian who keeps on making it clear that there's a god and he like won't leave us and unpunished and stuff he's gonna like whip you <laughs> for eternity <laughs> it doesn't really have to be that way though <laughs> just give your life to christ and stuff and you'll be fine <laughs> like literally there's nothing we can do no matter how much we try to butter it up you know soften the blow you still persecute us we could give you the gospel with big smiles and a gentle disposition and you will still punch us in the face especially those of you who practice witchcraft because this thing that you are very aware is diabolical you hope there's nobody there to I know, recalibrate the skills you hope there's no one there to just fix it up you know like straighten what you've made crooked and so for those reasons you get hella mad like as an angry like whoa you like that big bad wolf you will huff and puff and blow my house down for real no i'm sorry i've built it upon the rock so though no wind and waves can actually bring it low yeah but all of your attempts yeah you're a serpent and a scorpion and over all the path the enemy shall i then like ganda you underfoot and ja do you understand yeah that's what's good that the only reason why you get so angry at christians when they highlight the punishing side of god the wrath side of god the portion of him that's not so meek and lowly and full of love but the other side of him that cannot like, throw you into hellfire the reason you hate it so much is because you are ignoring your consciences you are exchanging the truth of god for a lie you are believing what you want to believe you are going on right ahead to commit abominations using spirits and hope that right when i talk about and then at the flat line so too does it flat line in eternity in Jephila. just a dee forever and ever when you spiritually manipulated people's lives therefore proving that there is an eternal plane the whole concept the thief says that the fool says in his heart there is no god nina in the occult you think or if he's just this like namby pamby bouncy thing in the sky that's like candy cotton candy anything about anything that's going on very uninvolved in the matters of the earth kind of like the you know, stand or fish yeah mm. you imagine god is that thing and so therefore when somebody makes it clear that i'm sorry the lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love all that jazz but he also will leave no sin unpunished and he will also visit the sins of the fathers to the third and fourth generation i'm sorry like he is really very hectic when it comes to he does not like it when it's stank in the room and right now you stink and so, I mean, when you make that clear to people in the occult or just anybody that's walking in a flagrant disrespect of Jesus Christ, yeah, they are just, you know, trying to like drive into a brick on the road just to, you know, confirm that there is no God. As soon as you get involved in the occult, you want to confirm there is no God. Or if he's there, like I said, big teddy bear in the sky, you can just pinch his cheek and be like, oh, you're so cute. He has no wrath in him. He has no justice. And that side of God is the side of God that you're finally going to humble yourselves to in the tribulation you're gonna finally just kind of put your tail between your silly little occult shaky knees and recognize that the wrath of god is a thing and you gotta respect it mm. you're gonna make a happen opponents yeah a happen opponents i like that word it's like happenstance and 
like happen upon all at the same time you're gonna make a happen upon uh that the wrath of god is to be revered that he is to be like trembled in the presence of he is to be utterly and comprehensively i don't know respected something that you men just you so desperately love to have no you want to hug it like a teddy bear so cushy and it's always just like docile in my presence inanimate does not talk even if i punch it and then when i want to lay in it it just is nice and cushy and i could just like squeeze my head into a teddy bear yeah that's what respect is for men mm. you treat it like a big fat chunky teddy bear it must always be there for you to sleep on but you can always just punch it yeah you want people to respect the living daylights out of you but you can just punch them hmm aren't i a little teddy bear but i'm the kind of teddy bear that wakes up from like i don't know and it's an animate state and so i become a haunting so men are very angry at me right now you're like blowing steam it's coming out of your noses look at you go oh you're so angry <laughs> yeah you're mad at me because i'm disrespectful i'm sorry like what of you exactly has earned respect anymore anymore no on the left and right no that's you you out you're catching women like the fish in the ocean and got have a choice you grab you grab them with a lure a hook in their uh what do you call this in their palates mutabatu is not like being drawn to you lovingly you lure her in i mean the level of disrespect in just pulling yanking a woman in jafela like with a lure make a woman just gravitate towards you like high and low what la tella la tella to make a woman in her right mind in jafela and gravel at your feet kiss your toes like try and give you a massage when you're busy telling her no not right now come back after two hours and expect to go after two hours that thing mutateni yesterday nasa kubat but now today she wants to give you 10 massages a day whoa that level of disrespect and then when a woman finds out that that's what you did and then she like like looks at you like you're nothing i'll want to next that sleeps with other men in the occult because you're involved in those kinds of demonic rituals hey that's what's good hey how got that you are mad at me trying to kill me like no man's business precisely because i have no respect for you get a little company a lure in the ocean and then lure me towards you yes like it literally you're gonna trust god now wait again this time around he can 100% ransack you that's going to last for all of eternity on that day you will put your tail between your legs concerning that prospect instead of driving rough on the street almost hitting a rock and stuff because somebody done told you the lord will leave no sin unpunished because you cannot practice so much dingy stuff you cannot afflict so many people le kase ravase basadi by leaving them widowed le banna by leaving them without wives le tsaile batho bana because you're into random sacrifice of tiny little toddler babies eh le kase it's that rubbish be le expector lo ba right the flat line yeng o bona satane ana how how is it that how how and they have an okata bona satane wetse king ali ngono a shapile straighter in your face o bosa kholo re modimoteng Udom, that's what's good. The Bible makes it clear Udom how is right. A fool says in his heart there is no God. Mm. So Jack I had a tribulation ill all up in your girl, Steve. Yeah. This time around you're gonna believe in Karabo's God. You're gonna remember the girl that you tried to ride over. Ga land rover ya how e ukatangwe re ka grand shop ka human sacrifice ya last week ya maloba nyana mo. Eh. Yeah, the chick you tried to kill that didn't die but went to the river Jordan. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I got translated. I didn't die. I got caught up. You're not going to listen to me. Wait, singing the kekile le tlompa. Le sa tlala ka rape. Violence and ganje. E motho sa tsimeng sa tlhalogang gore grand shop tswa kae. Causing the whole world to ignore the living daylights out of me, Steve. This time around you are going to listen very carefully to every word leaving my lips. And even though I offend you, you are going to get over it. You're going to overlook offense like a peeping tom. Mm. Because tlompo ele dele demandang bana. From Basadi le ba tsayang ba le independent minded. Ka di hook ntefela momelomo. Every woman you want to sleep with, not even marry. 
live by a hookah like that converting women into entire whores when they didn't sign up for that because when I'm went around while when when I'm not you think you that dude or totting a meta human power you you you, you that Casanova that can lure all women to you you are a serial rapist on that day let's just put that out there a serial rapist Marana, you that guy that only because when now you are you ooze pheromones. Is that what's what's good? You are oozing pheromones. Can it? Hey, you've got some funny little thing that comes off you. And so because of it, it just makes women kind of, you know, dizzy. Like, you know, Matt Damon in Oceans, is it 11, 12 or 13 or whatever? Where it is that there's some pheromone that came off him and it made some, that lady chica of the casino, like all drunk in his presence. That's what you think you ooze. You think witchcraft is your freaking pheromone. Janung Amo said, when a woman doesn't respect you for your stupid pheromones, because I be drunk. The way that all these other women are getting drunk, now you want her dead. Well, this time around, you're going to listen to every last thing I said. And every last thing you did, you will understand there was a punishment for it absent. Of repentance. So now, when Eve out here is talking about how it is done, oh goodness, my family is gone, oh my believer. And you're gonna look around on the left and on the right, seeing as you were attending church. That's what's good, yeah. On Sundays, you were always all up in that business. If anything, people trusted you so much to be a Christian that sometimes you even had the brazen audacity on so deb like a satan to actually host a Bible study, to actually like chair a Bible study. Sometimes you have Bible studies in your house, a house of which one room is like a ritual occult room that no one can go into, but you've got a Bible study there. And the way that the church is so fluffy, flaccid, like I said, it's like children's games. Despite having a Bible study in your occult-ridden house, there's no manifestation of any entities. There's nobody agitated. There's nothing at all that is coming out to play because there are Christians in the room. Demons shudder and they tremble in the sight of Emmanuel. They shudder and they tremble tremble at the sight of Christians. So if at all you host Bible studies in your houses, occult. Yes, I done. Hey, Batum. If by the end of that Bible study, Indriyako has not been bombed or something has come out, or some disturbance. If there's no disturbance that's happened in the house, where it is that there is a room hosting Amatimon. Gushkuti le zinja le zi ozi me mile tu i Bible study nabo, but lali kom kom panan. Kao fela batala bati le sko ocho haba eza kerek. Ba adala. Gren cha puti di tang sa wana ze baradang ora bala katona in a public congregation. Ne kiza ma dimon. Kawa poloswa. Because ain't no demon gong chill, hang out, make like a flower and bloom. In the presence of true Christians. But now, all of you occult practitioners, you out here chilling out in churches without manifesting demons. Your churches. Get by, take your scotch. Get, 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 game day, game night. Get 30 seconds. Kwa adala. And the tribulation is going to make you know that that's a thing. Why? Because it's a belly plumy like our friend Libaka. On the earth, Karabuhambi, I once. Toxic King, Skepsel. Ali one. Stock Ciel Alien. Salek in the heaven, Javier. Stock Ciel Alien. Kill all Gana Maho de Mong. Even though Nikidula, Gilly one. Out of everyone on the Kimotse, Lipozurva Tung. Only one and a lossy and no one that the occult you're gonna discover why it is that you were successful against the church. You are going to discover why it is that you were able to topple churches, you were able to pull rags from under the Kareke's feet. You're going to discover why it is that Abo Prophet Lovi churches like those su succeeded to get so big. A whole church being run by a pastor, you're going to understand why it is that a true church did not derail the attempt to plant Isonto Lendo the Efanano Prophet Lovi. You are going to discover why that was a thing because the, the remnant, how few people are going to get taken up in the tribulation, in the rapture, sorry. It's going to make you see Uguti Granshap Mistila. We were dealing with world with like it was like bewitching an office building. Who is in Jeffella or Lord make everybody sleepy? When Kumuntu just drops like a domino, you will have thought you're powerful, except you were against God because you will have prospered to overwhelm churches. You will have prospered to topple churches, cause babies to cry, cause women in the church to, uh, you know, have affairs with her, with men that are married. You will have prospered to l l do what it is that appears to be apostatized Christians. You will have prospered to make them fornicate, sleep, not come to church, or but like but that way, or not do the real deal, or not be focused, or preach nonsense at the pulpit. You will have prospered to do all that, not because you can actually prosper to do anything against the body of Christ. You idiots, you can't. You can't. You literally can not. We've been given authority to trample and so on, uh, to authority under heaven to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm us. That is a ubiquitous uh, promise for Christians. So. That already you are able to cause pastors to cheat on their wives. 
The fact that you are able to cause parishioners to have affairs with each other outside of wedlock, fornicating, cloughed off all over the church. The matter you can prosper to proliferate gossip and you think Ukutwena is on Tagati Ufige somewhere and was able to plant tears nyana, among the wheat. The fact that you will have imagined yourself as one that was prosperous to bring low the body of Christ is the thing that is your strong delusion. That is your deception. Because if people were actually indwelt by the Holy Spirit, you wouldn't be able to stand. You would not be able to stand against the true man of God that is a pastor in a church. You would not cause him to commit adultery. You would not manage to cause fornication to ramp up in the church. You would not manage to cause all those babies to cry. You would not manage. You just wouldn't because where the Holy Spirit is flowing. Come on, let's just use the Bible here. Demons tremble in the presence of God. They don't just dilly dally. I'm about dancing around. That's what's good. And so, if at all you're busy sending demons to cause people to be sleepy and make babies cry to disturb the sermon that is being preached, that church is a circus. Get party, get scotch, get Chicago, you know, it's not the real deal. Like, the apostasy is gawking at everybody and it's happening at like a prolific rate right now. Eh, hey, that's what's up. And so, the fact that the occult is so busy successfully just oiling the church like they literally running circles through us around them look at what you did to Karaba you kicked me out the synagogues the day came when those who threw me out of church just so thinking they're doing a service to God for crying out loud don't you see I was excommunicated from my old church my, the Baptist church I belong to Emmanuel Baptist in Florida they freaking excommunicated me why? Because my presence in that space made the occult, they give me one! It made the occult tremble so much that they squeezed me out. Witches were operating in the church and they squeezed me out because I was too destructive. Give me one! So that was a circus. That was a circus. That was Bati, Chicago, Mogusha, Santing. Some children's game. But it was definitely not church. Because Umzalwani, Kirlali one. First and foremost. Unless the baby is colicky. Because you know the baby is like done pooping and peeing and all that jazz. That's the only thing that will make a baby cry. Maranja, just a demon. Distracting your baby, making your baby cry. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, of course, like if you're playing kom kom banana in church, then that'll, that'll happen. But if there's an actual praying saint, that child is not going to cry just cause because demons are not going to be able to just walk around doing a thing putting fe feathers in babies ears tickling them until they giggle demons don't just walk around church pews guys unless nobody there is saved they don't just walk around church pews all content they don't just sit out an entire sermon and just hey i said wow this is nice huh i think i'm just hopping that guy over there if there's even one Christian, demons will be so uncomfortable that they would have to leave. And at a minimum, they will cause everybody in the church to extract just that one person so they can work freely. So in the is evidence of the South African church. And after the rapture has happened, Gundwani's y'all gonna know just how apostate the south african church was and pretty much everywhere else you're gonna know the apostasy because on a sunday y'all yeah but to a spectacle what's about joku you know how embarrassed a whole bunch of professing christians would be Sunday when people are in church and you will see some church services will literally go from the beginning to the end without even noticing that a rapture has happened without even noticing because literally no one left in that whole church or the only person that, that left was using the bathroom during the service and nobody noticed them go or it happened in the uh, the overflows and it was so hot and everybody was so sweaty in those overflows that Azangba noticed when like three people out of like 400 people clamped up in the overflows were, were chilling just not noticing Jeff Elamutu disappears and nobody even notices beginning to end and only upon hearing cars crashing outside of the church only upon hearing people screaming only upon like like oh, the frantic activity of the streets will wake up the church to realize something's going on outside they're still busy worshiping my god is able to get up and defeat the grave you're about to hit my teeny ding 
somebody's about to go alo shapam lens a chigago yeah rapture is a hala born i wish the rapture would i pray the rapture would happen on a sunday morning i pray so that you guys can be humiliated by the remnant that get taken up and upon discovering the remnant that will go mm -hmm. upon making that observation of the remnant that will get taken up in the sky that's when the occult is going to realize they're going to realize that they've never really had power men and women in the occult are going to discover that they did not actually have power to mock or mess with christians because they can't get an everybody busy by the infiltrator <laughs> like i said chicago come come banana black man party no no get games like you're not doing church like relax long make like a flower chill on guys like I said, just a fake. Um, cocktail. What about Zemamus? Fong Kong. Oh, the regular the Rasa. Fong Kong. Oh, the regular my Chinese. Bang bang bing kunzi. Sensei. Yeah. Hey, kiki Chinatown. Kiki Fong Kong. That's what's good. Kiki Kiki na kiki Fong Kong. Hey, but you need pizza Louis Vuitton or Marakim double or mongo hard knock. Can't shop or plastic. If you forget in two weeks, eh. Hey. Mara, when are you walking around ka LV? Motopomba to have a one low one or two because they can't tell the difference. Yeah, except true Christians, but one difference. What about Zeramos from Kong Laibon? I can't regularly rasa. Mudimu jamo bona wa rasa. Bang bang bing kunzi. Exactly. We scream at you. We put it out there that you're lost. We make it clear. Uguti raho Zeramos of Hong Kong. Mudimu awa batung the kid. The kingdom of heaven runa hara rasa. Hara rekwa rasa. We got bored by the blood of the lamb. The blood of Jesus is what bore us. Mara wena bahu rekila or rasa. Oh, bahu rekila machai ne. That's what's good. The devil oho rekila vele vele or rasa. <laughs> you know how these songs must get called? They can't ignore their calling. Because the way that Satan what they are so coercive. Literally. Bajo regular or rasa. Bajo regular my chine. What's that again? Otro twasa gankani because all lots are lock career. All lots are lock or willing one. Every pregnancy you have, you're gonna miscarry until you obey. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. How rasa on that day? But say, Ramos, Fong Kong, the regular Rasa, the regular Machine, Bam Bam Bing Kunze. That's what's good, yeah. Bam Bam, my Christians in Kunze afterwards. Mm. You still call yourself a Christian and tell yourself that you, I could not ignore my call, otherwise, I mean, I was not going to be able to feed my children. But say, Ramos, Fong Kong, because what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and yet lose his soul? You will have given your lives over to Usatan. So manje when like sango mas batwa sitenga also chilling in church on Sunday. Of course, the occult is going to be able to do whatever they want to do in there. They're going to be running circles around what they call the body of Christ until the rapture happens. And then they're going to be like, oh, I, I guess I was uh, like hyper naive concerning Karabo because she was the real deal. But I could not see the difference between her leaping Gida. And so I imagined that just like Pinky, she will eventually capitulate. Only reason why the occult is trying so hard with me, the only reason why they're working so damn hard with me is because they have made what they call an observation that ultimately they crack. Why? Because they've been cracking you. They've been cracking all these churches, Lamka Queen. They've been cracking Johannesburg like no man's business, and they're like, this chick, it's only a matter of time. Futi, she's nicely isolated. Mm. Divide and conquer. So it's like, yeah, so basically, Steve, you'll have been sitting on my chest. Kabun Tutsimos Poko, making it even heavier than it already is every single day. Mm. Ong Padi Eddie, Kiki Tuba Grandpa, like no man's business. That's what's good. Yeah. Just to get through the day, Steve, we're not because we truly told her, Lena Oton gets out of the I'm the real deal. I'm not a counterfeit. I'm a Christian. I'm born again. Like the real deal. The kind that when I'm chilling in the in the synagogues or church, Tanamount, anybody at all with a wicked spirit that is operating as an evil satanic cult cannot stand still. They can't. And if at all they can't water you down by a koshanje altogether. Oh, so excommunicate well, mahal. So the left behind are going to be humiliated because first and foremost, the and definitely looking like a hornet's nest. And then everybody else around you are gazon in temba to give them the real gospel. Because if you could not get it right the first time, what under heaven am I doing trying to trust you? So now all of y'all with your disrespect, especially in Namatota, oh goodness, whoa. I can't wait to see it. Like, wow, chilling in the sky, perched there, making like a little bird fly. Awesome. Oh, look at rude Steve. Now he's desperate Steve. Mm. 
and he's paging very carefully through every last word I said and this time around he's re-listening to my content not from a vantage point of finding things to curse but finding the truth so he might live Another one not letting on so well, I bet what better bonga let's what be all these Jews are now on the street 24 hours a day hopping around on a kangaroo, like a kangaroo on a beach ball all day, every day. So, back as a gang before all over a hand rocking mudim. Do you think what you can just keep on walking more to demand it to what's up to Africa mocha fell? Oh, to hell, and you fell. Zap, spreading yourself. Was it tell and you was it points and pillows about on so bad twatter and then still look like a stellar citizen? Like you hope to keep doing that. Stefan, what about wait again? If you like a naive balloon. Mara, at this point, I'm talking to people who are in the tribulation. Stevie Eve, that's what's good. You're sitting next to Eve and now you believe Eve's testimony. You believe Eve when she says to you what it is that you suspected all along was true. And because you suspected it was true, you try to kill Garabo to basically, you know, comfort yourself in your chill position. You want to be at rest with Whoa, in the life of a woman, you want to go and grab your creator, Parito. Mm. And now you're going to understand just how incredibly, potently, disrespectful and pompous you are. To think you can ziponza, zitele, to think that you can just spread yourself. Wait a second. Uti spread and carwena, um, mama late. Moboroton, ker lebo body laying no ha, lebonang le mold. Uti spread, ma pelonga batu. Uzi tell, uzi pons, because you found a magic wand. And just be okay. After all ravas about to babakan. After ransacking so many marriages. After destroying so many careers. After destroying so many families. After breaking up so many homes. How in the world did you think that your ill-gotten gain was going to take you anywhere? Yeah, but now you will realize all that you have done. Stevie Eve, eh? That's what's good. Steve Ovo. Parido. Oso Papa Menu. And now you wish you had basically honored God enough to love women the way that he loved the church. Instead, you felt entitled to their respect, even though Unole Satani that kept on raping them on a loop. Because you know, not everybody understands when they've been slapped. Kakorovel. Eh. Now you that guy that's kneeling down, bashing your knees on the floor after disrespecting a God you were raised to honor. A God you were raised to worship. Basically, that's you, Steve Ovo. And you are still going in church every Sunday. And then every so often you also have Bible study at your house and no demons tremble despite there being an occult room in your house. Uh, because now I can't how na moto pulu si tuenge le mo cell group bunyalo not even one. Mm. Now that the rapture has happened and literally like five people out of all of South Africa left. That's when you're going to realize that you, uh, what is this? You were not actually powerful against the body of Christ. You, you, you could not just pull the rug from under Christian's feet. You were just dealing with charlatans. You were dealing with lukewarm people, sardians. You were dealing with people who had a reputation for being alive even though you're de they're dead. You were not dealing with the real blood bought, born again body of the living God. And so that's what's going to make you realize there's only power in witchcraft insofar as you're dealing with lost randos in these streets like vagrants just kind of floating around souls waiting to go to hell that's all you can manage men menace and in the last days there's going to be such a small number of souls going to heaven that you are going to imagine that you've taken over south africa as the occult when all that this is is fulfilled bible prophecy the great apostasy and so you're going to have to basically become the occult practitioner you were but as a christian wake up and smell the coffee you know what an evil nasty nefarious diabolical absolutely unacceptable thing you were well the world is about to be that to the nth degree and you are now me so whatever it is that you then did to me you know the celebrations and the ululations of my perishing the uh waiting f basically f with bated breath after you cast a death spell to see if she will drop dead this time because you, you know, tweaked the seance to add maybe, you know, two or three extra droplets of baby blood. I don't know. Yeah. So maybe this time around Karabo will drop dead. Now there are people actually doing all that stuff with you. Oh, Steve, you're persecuted now. Welcome to the party. 
May the odds be truly in your favor. That's what's good. I'm if you tinker now, aren't I, Steve? Mm. I'm in the capital. And I mean, while I'm rooting for you, bottom line is I currently really despise you. I don't like you. Occult people, I mean, you are hurting me the way that you're hurting me only because the church in this country is this apostate. It's so apostate that you think you have a chance with me. You're dealing with the Christians. I see the Christians. And so, of course, by our one, Jefela, they just fall apart. The moment a spell is cast on them, they just capitulate. They don't count the cost of being a disciple. They put their hand to the plow and then they look back. They have not at all entered the kingdom of heaven. They're just merely skating around the periphery. And so, because of your prosperity against such people as those, Tanguti, you actually have a chance with me. Tanguti, right? So, basically, the body, the apparent body of Christ in this country, the deadbeat Randos, Lam Gatwen, mmm. That are apparently my brothers and sisters, they put me in harm's way because of how lukewarm they are, because of how flaccid, fluffy, nasty, just kind of walking around with the wannabe disposition they all are. They have given occult people, uh, you know, what they imagine to be a high probability of a hope that I will ultimately fall down because all you need to do is just work a little harder. You've been dealing with me, Dobolo, Nakwe Kaufe. You've never encountered the real deal. And that's why you're having such a rough time with me. Lindenzali busy, let's try to talk about 24 hours, day and night. Let's heal. The thing that I'm talking about, Nyan Tu, Ian Tu, Sakotwa, you are holding on to your Satan. Why? Because you have made an observation of how much he's given you so much prosperity in all these other areas, except the devil can only ever prosper against unbelievers. So, all these wannabe believers that you believe that you have conquered, the devil is using them to keep you busy with me. What am I going to say? I'm going to say, I'm going to until you destroy yourselves. He wants you guys to destroy yourselves by trying to destroy someone that cannot be destroyed. I am inconquerable because I am more than a conqueror in Christ. I cannot be defeated because I'm standing with the man of, um, with the son of man. I am seated in heavenly places with the man Christ Jesus. I cannot be brought low. I cannot be brought low. And all of your attempts will do nothing but condemn you. And you and you and you. Everybody else on the periphery of me. Ling Boris Itzegaba to South Africa Kaufela in Kaflele Nyesi Hotlela. But you know, the Lord did let me know. There's just this morning. What are the days going to arrive when everyone that's ever ignored my email is going to regret ignoring my emails? I was like, which people are you talking about right now? And he was like, the, the, the conglomerate of fools at MTN. When you were crying about your case, they're going to wish they hadn't ignored your emails. They got to a point where they literally awarded a, a staff member, a former staff member that was lamenting about mistreatment and not getting what she wanted from the company. At some point, I was talking about literally my affairs since i was fired there were affairs that needed to be finalized sealed like my pension monies with mtn and they refused to talk to me they spoke to my mom they refused to respond to me as the benefactor the beneficiary the person that was the staff member they treated me like i was an invalid that the law had emancipated from their rights to function as a an adult personality and they used my mother Nkarana was assigned a legal guardian because I was irresponsible as a grown woman without no any such court order having been filed against me. That's how MTN treated me. They completely ignored all of my riots on a rooftop and chose to speak with my mom. That level of crime committing, law breaking proper and disrespect of a person's human rights. And the Lord showed me that they're going to wish they hadn't ignored my emails because I'm going to be the survival kit that even they will be using. They will have ignored me and literally <laughs> administrated my, the finalization of my exit from MTN with my mother. Yeah, stuff like that happened to me, guys. It's weird, right? When you think about it, it's kind of creepy. It's like, oh, who does that? Yeah, no, crazy people that are demon possessed. But I mean, Tubolo. Yeah, I mean, Tubolo do that. Professing Christians that are sitting in churches and Bible studies, yeah, on Wednesdays, and yet they can do that to a staff member. They can do that to a person in Jefela easily. No, like, fruit born. Like, no consequences anticipated. No consequence management anticipated. Just continue to glide around like a little buttock. 24 hours a day. Like, just, you know, ransacking all of humanity's humans' rights. And just expect to be okay tomorrow. Yeah. The same people are going to be, like, carefully listening to everything I say. 
this time around there won't be any arrogance no random strange girl beef you know all this strange jealousy that you're walking around in this futile jealousy that's making it hard for you to listen to the gospel because all you can think about is your vanity and not so much the fact that your soul is i don't know in some abyss all lost and stuff about to plunge into an eternal furnace if you die in that state yeah but with that being you you're still out you're hovering these streets disrespecting carabo because my limona whoa how petty your envy is going to be women it's gonna be so petty like on that day you're gonna realize oh but i'm waiting make you focus a little more life thing make it a little dumb mm. on that day you're going to discover just how futile you were just absolutely petty and futile and utterly disrespectful to a soul that is begging for you to listen to my content and you're like no it's okay we'll just keep you hovering over the abyss for five more minutes until i can find a respectable minister of god and that same respectable minister of god is out here hanging out with you at the tribulation filing down their fingernails because they want to get you choose that mm -hmm. hi how's it in the name of christ it's your girl cranky i hope you're good i hope you're peachy i hope you're stella and i hope you're in a neat little bunch yeah that's what's good like you are about to experience some pretty cataclysmic regrets some pretty cataclysmic regrets and in walking in all of those cataclysmic regrets you are going to also realize how incredibly foolish you were yeah but i mean it doesn't really matter because right now langdella and right now you pride yourself literally you are actually glad that i'm going nowhere you are actually proud of whoa yo i do this work for you like you you're the one that's chilling in the church playing kom kom banana true body of christ you are at loggerheads with actual christians you always got beef with the person that is strangely too like overly consecrated in the church the person that is always just trying to highlight some issues oh yeah on am food and because all of y'all are like gathered in concert together against them you think that oh that must mean that we're cool and she's not we're cool and he's not ah and then the rapture happens and he's like the only one what's up my link up bible go home sell bible study go fed lead 10 and there's only one person that got raptured out of all of you. And so let's not cook off for years. You've been breaking bread and little later. All you do, you chat over emails. Cardi Bible sells that he says alone that's and I get a who's you biscuit every so often. Hey. Uh the the only thing that you ever did there was pretty much create create a social club. Sending emails on some okay, I'll bring the grapes. I'll bring the the, the lace crisps. So do you want them sour cream and onions or should I get the fruit chutney? That's all that you will have done. Just pay, basically just break bread with human beings. I mean, just call it a party. How about you do that? If you're saying bright, guys, don't call it a Bible study. Don't. Hmm? I'll bring the rolls. I'll bring the purifors. How about you bring the gospel? Yeah. But you didn't do that. And the one person that was just kind of trying to make that a clear thing. You were like, I went, na ishi. Hey, no, 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 hey, tiki, no, but that's not what it says. No, 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 what I'm trying to say is, bona, bona, mona, and then everybody agrees in concert when this person that's trying to create the situation is completely now overwhelmed by like a whole group think like mess. And then, boom, the guy's the only one that's gone. Oh, that's the timber that, like, really and truly, all you were worried about is that this time around, hardly sa pura vorso, uti si tsefela mazimba, uchip. Mmm. He's becoming cheap. That's why he said Mazimba fella and not Buddha Vors because he's persecuted. While the rest of y'all are just, you know, you keep getting your promotions. Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. Now that the rapture has happened, are you still feeling blessed and highly favored? And you imagine that Temba cringed up more life and Mudimu, I am on Zebra Fandi one because he does not know how to manifest, manifest a car. He doesn't know how to manifest a job. What does that have to do with Christianity? Temba tried to highlight that to you, but like, nah, Temba, you're too extreme. Temba did not want to forsake, you know, gathering with the saints. He felt, however, frustrated with the fluffy nature of the saints. So he just kind of hung out around you guys, all like perpetually grieved. God, you know, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, uh, King Fruit Chutney Lace. Ka one Wednesday. Abaya Kaya Ali grieved up Baroque Bible study, Maranzaya Kogere Gangzaya Bible study, and he still keeps on pitching, rocking up because he does not want to forsake gathering with the saints because he wants to honor god's word but he is grieved 24 hours a day 
spending time with brethren for temba is more taxing yam we may langa rutsweri pazi so when he is gathered around with Christians, he should be at home. Instead, Ingati is just with like some fluffy godless colleagues. You know what it's like when you're godly and you've got these godless colleagues that can't just stop bro dropping the f bomb. They use and swear words so easily and they feel like poo, 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 all day long. And they also have so much sexual innuendo, such futile conversations. They love talking about sex. Everything is just funny to them. That's actually very grieving. But they're colleagues, and so you kind of have to write them out. They don't understand that you got the Holy Spirit, so you don't want to cause a fight. You just, you know, mm, end conversations sooner rather than later. So you're the boring guy in the office when when that is how you feel around brethren when that's how you feel around like bible study the same way that you feel around crass colleagues <laughs> ain't nobody saved there like literally nobody is born again in that space except for temba yeah and then temba's now gone and the crass colleagues are like oh, our colleague is one of the guys that disappeared with the aliens and then the body of christ is like that can't be the rapture because we're all here the only person that disappeared is temba so it can't possibly be the rapture we're here that's why Kiri, guys those of you who are sitting inside churches the rapture is not for you you are highly likely even going to believe the alien invasion because there's going to be so few people taken that you are literally going to conclude just based on the sheer volumes numbers of people that are still roaming these streets hopping up and down like little kangaroos you are going to insist that that was not the rapture it can't be you will literally still be waiting for the rapture just like the jews are still waiting for their messiah even though he rocked up all those years ago you're going to still be waiting for jesus to rapture the body of christ you will still be looking out for it because you are going to refuse to believe that you got left behind that's arrogance it's pride it's pomp it's self-righteousness it's it can't possibly be the rapture because why hold i'm a temba fail if only you just grabbed a magnifying glass and actually looked at temba and seen temba's life remembered all the things that temba tried to raise you might be able to spot it but you see the hearing eye and the seeing ear both are from the lord so if the lord has not seen it fit to give you hearing ears and seeing eyes you will think that temba was taken by aliens or some weird little funny cyber attack happened in your country but it can't be the rapture you will literally reach every conclusion but the right one so you deserve it okay like you had it coming there we go like an emp attack on your electric country do you get that like whole tsunami all up in your grill let's our guys we're taking lord daughter because labora some daughter daughter because at this point you're in the middle of the ocean why is that sure it's anyway life boy salvageable holding on for dear life because the occult is having a field day with you like no man's business because next God is evil magic 